All right, guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video. So, today we're going to go ahead and knock out another no-item run on Category Super Battle Road. Um, I do got to say congrats to my boy, Masting, and of course, he got the no-item run done for the Ginyu Force stage, which is very, very impressive, right? So, like, prior to the Link level update, we had all sort of, a, like, kind of just come to the conclusion, like, yeah, this shit ain't happening. Uh, when the Link level update sis thing happened... Uh, originally, me and Ningen, we had the same idea, which was to level up the Ginyu Force because it was probably going to be possible, but I stopped doing that when the new category stages have come out, and I've focused on these characters instead. So, I'm going to get back around and do the Ginyu Force stage, probably after I finish all of the new stages, and then maybe Extreme Super Battle Road as well. Now, I don't... Right now, the Vegeta Family stage, I'm uncertain. I feel like it is possible with stuns. But it, 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 it might be at the point where I'm not interested in trying it, honestly. Uh, Vegeta Family needs new units, I think, in order to do it. Um, Movie Hero is going to be a nightmare as well. This is Final Trump card we're doing, um, which is super, super difficult, right? This stage was really hard. Honestly, if it wasn't for the fact that these new units came out, I mean, I, I'm, I'm sure it was possible, right? But it would have been annoying to the point where I probably would have been like, all right, whatever, I'm not. <laughs> I'm good. Because the blue fusions take 100k per normal, right? 100k. The blue fusions, who many people consider the best unit in the game. They're not, by the way. There's no way. I, when Goku and Vegeta, Boo Tanks, Jiren, and UI Goku exist, where turn one in the hardest content in the game, right here, Super Battle Road, they are able to actually be effective, whereas the Blue Fusions, the only effectiveness they have in Super Battle Road Turn 1 is if they're not getting hit or if they're in slot 3 to float off. But that means the next turn, you're not going to have them. If they're the best unit in the game, you want them on rotation. You want them to be right there in the thick of things. A unit that you're floating off and I can't wait till they come back in three turns, then they'll be good. No, they're not the best units in the game, um, unfortunately, at, at least to me. Just because they're the best at full power in, like, one specific event, that doesn't mean they're the best in the game to me. I, I like performance across the entire game. Um, and Goku and Vegeta, their performance in Super Battle Road, the hardest content in the game. Like, so how good units are in Super Battle Road, to me, is definitely a lot more meaningful than the Legendary Goku event because this is just way harder, right? This that, That's it. This is just way freaking harder. Now... Uh, again, I haven't focused on Ginyu Force, and even now, I'm not really ready to do it. I actually do have physical Ginyu uh, fully Link leveled. Um, I was, I, like, when the Link level update system first came out, my idea was to do Rose and Broly, Chile, and Lemo, and then all the Ginyu Force members. Uh, those were the first units I was going to do with the Link level up system, right? But then, you know, things happened in my personal life. I got distracted. Then, before you know it, Category 2 Battle Road was announced. And then, of course, I realized as well that, like, you know, Getting these, like, link levels takes a ridiculous amount of time. So, like, Broly, Chile, and Lemo, and Rosé, I didn't even finish them before they came out on Global, right? They were coming out, like, a week after that on Global. So, it, it was pretty unfortunate the way it turned out. Um, so, I've been focusing on the link levels for, like, characters like this here in Super Battle Road and stuff like that. Now, um, uh, across this team, Boo Tanks is full level 10 across the board. Vegito Blue is full level 10 across the board. So is Super Vegito. I, all these characters are full level 10. Um, and then my Goku and Vegeta is full level 10 as well. Now, Buhan is only in the 5 and 6 range. Um, I would have cared way more, but there's not another Big Bad Bosses character we're using. Now, when Boo Tanks transforms, he can get Big Bad Bosses. But I don't think we get a transformation with Buhan. I, I think there was a run I had where it was uh, Buhan... Boo Tanks and then Goku and Vegeta on rotation. And like it, it was the best display of how good the units can be because um we had uh Boo Tanks uh, okay, okay. We, we we fuse with Goku and Vegeta, they heal 50% HP, start a turn, Boo Tanks heals 12% HP. Then I use the active skill with, with Boo Tanks, which is available because Vegito fused, and then we heal again with Buhan's new passive, right? So like these characters are so important. Um, my LR in Goku and Vegeta, I believe they're like 8 and 9 for Link levels. Honestly, after I do these runs, I, I wonder if I should start just showing the Link levels of these characters. I feel like that's probably important to do. Um, 
when the weekend in a couple of days i don't know when i'm gonna upload this but during the weekend i'm gonna really i think try and grind extreme super battle road get those no items uh we'll see though um because it, the thing about getting no item runs a lot of it has to do with finding friend leaders more so than difficulty of the event like for example the vegeta family stage no one runs super saiyan 4 vegeta and i mean i i didn't look at it too deeply but i feel like you're gonna have to run super saiyan 4 vegeta in that vegeta family stage honestly that that stage is just not fun um it's really annoying um also i i, I think i was playing um I was watching Dragon Ball Z. I was watching uh, Piccolo vs. 17 during this. <laughs> so, like, uh, I, I, if there's moments where, like, uh, like uh, I pause for a second, that's probably what I was doing. Um, okay, so we've sort of gone over it, right? Uh, I've gone over all the characters, link levels, and stuff like that. Um, I mean, as you guys could see, Boo Tanks and Goku and Vegeta are just, like... I I really need to, like, like take a look at a video with Jiren at, like, full level 10 links and stuff like that. Because, like, I don't know. Like, I, I could real uh, Bootanks and Vegito as one and two best units in the game. Like, they're just... They're so overpowered. It's insane. Like, Bootanks, man. Like, 180 KD... Here I was just thinking. Because, okay, this is a really bad situation. Because... So, Buhan is necessary to have these two Boo units together on Final Trump Card. Because Bootanks is so... Like, I had to... He's so good. You have to run him, right? So, Buhan... The, you could... The only... Boo characters on Final Trump Card is the other absorption. It's just Boo Tanks and Buhan. So this easy a Buhan is who I had to use. He is good enough, as you guys can see. He massively is healing. He greatly lowers attack, but he is squishy, very squishy. And then I don't like. I can't put Buhan in slot one. We'll die, right? I I am thinking about putting Super Vegito in slot one, but if Fat Boo super attacks, we die, right? So it's like this is one of those turns where it's literally it's just RNG, right? I can't. I, wherever they super attack, I don't know where they're super attacking. I just have to sort of guess, right? And at the same time, it's super important to get the 18 key super attack with boo tanks, right? Because then at, with the super with the 18 key super attack, we'll stack defense. But unfortunately, I was only able to get to 17 key because remember, boo tanks and Goku and Vegeta, they don't get double key from rainbow orbs. They only do from normal orbs, right? So here we go. I mean, we're gonna like look out. So boo tanks. Type disadvantage turn one is only taking 25k. Like, that is just, like, god level. Like, just defense, he's only taking 25. That's incredible. Like, Boo Tanks is so crazy. He is so ridiculous. Right? And then the healing at the start of turn. And then, of course, he has Metamorphosis with Buhan. So they're healing at the start of turn as well. Um, then Buhan he gets a massive amount of health per orb. Now, by the way, before EZA, it was greatly lower attack on the Ghost Kamikaze and then just regular lower attack on the uh, the Vice Shout attack that he does. After his EZA, both greatly lower attack. Um, the only difference now is extra damage on the Boo Ghost Kamikaze, so keep that in mind, right? Any super attack by Buhan gives um, uh, 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 lowers attack. Also, I, I did put a lot of equipment on Buhan. It's low-level equipment, right? I, get, I think he has a level 2 additional for bronze. He has, like, a level 3 uh, silver additional. And then, like, a level gold 1 additional on Buhan. Just to give him the opportunity to additional a couple of times. Because if he additionals, he's greatly lowering attack twice. Which is just, like, it, it's so important. Because this run, final trump card, did actually take me... Several. Th this this was many attempts with this team, right? The Super Saiyan team. I I think I beat it on my second try. The Super Saiyan category stage with pretty much a similar team. This stage took me a lot of attempts because it's just super tough. But it's another one of these goddamn fights where the final fight is ridiculous. The Goku Black in the final fight, like I I I've like never seen him. He super attacks like literally every turn, and he does like like. Uh, 300 400k to no matter who he super attacks like it, it just it's so frustrating because like oh it's like i remember when i was doing realm of gods back in the day right and it's like you get to that final fight against the z fighters and then krill and yamchen tian just blow you away in one second it's like oh good you know it took me 50 attempts to get to this stage and then i'm just instantly killed by the z fighters great right it's a very very similar occurrence now we get lucky again it, like skinny boo if he super attacks, like, Vegito Blue, like, it's death. Like, we die if Vegito Blue gets super attacked. Um, my Vegito Blue, by the way, has almost max crit. I think 27 
is the maximum crit you can have on Vegito Blue. And I believe my Vegito Blue has 26 crit. Um, let me actually just quickly pull him up, but I believe that is the case, right? Yeah, my Vegito Blue has 26 crit. I have 5 crit in gold, and I have a 4 crit in silver. And then I have a 2 crit on bronze for my physical Vegito Blue. Um, that's the thing with doing these no-item runs is, like, you know, I, you have to, like, really focus on equipment and link levels and all that stuff for a lot of these characters for some of these runs. Because some of these runs, some of these stages are really tough. So, like, again, like, it's like, what do I do here? Because I, I this rotation, the boos, it's, they're so ridiculous. Like, I have to keep them together. Like, I, I can't, if I lose the boos from being together, like, it, Buhan powers up boo tanks so much. And, like, healing, defense, attack. Like, it's just, there were, like, I have to keep them together. I got lucky. Like, this run, I won because Skinny Boo just didn't do anything in this run, right? Like, I, you guys saw, like, Skinny Boo was just jacking off the whole time. He's not really doing anything devastating to us. And so now, bam, here we go. Now, Super Vegito is good. You know, Super Vegito is amazing. Like, for a lot of, like, again, several of these no-item runs, Super Vegito has been here. When I know item uh, Super AGL Extreme, Super Battle Road, obviously Super Vegito is going to be here as well, right? He is good, but it's just like he has that really glaring weakness, right? As long as you get that first hit in, he's got that defense, he'll be fine. He would still take over 100k on a super attack right here, but look at the damage he's dishing out. Like, he does a lot of damage if, if you have the right situation going on for him. So, Super Vegito, I'm glad he was able to look good. Remember, he again, my Super Vegito and Vegito Blue... They have full level 10 links. Most of this team is full level 10 links, except for Buhan and the Int LR Vegito. Um, the Int LR Vegito, I mean, I don't... I just brought him to power up the links for Goku and Vegeta. Uh, transforming with him is not possible. Okay. This, again, Goku Black, this asshole. I'm telling... Like, I, I don't... I think he might actually not super attack in this turn right here. But he super attacks, like, every single turn. He's just so frustrating. Like, we managed to get to the, this stage with a Dokkan attack, but this is also... These two are so ridiculously powerful that it's not like... A Dokkan attack does not clear the field or anything like that, right? I'm pretty sure Zamasu completely survives this turn, actually, um, because I wasn't able to get super attacks with Vegito Blue, and I got bad RNG with Vegito Blue. Now, the good news is, again... If Boo Tanks can get even one 18 key super off before he gets hit, his defense just shoots up so much. So that helps us out dramatically, right? So that's good. Um, again, I, I think I mentioned it, right? But if Boo Tanks had Big Bad Bosses as Boo Tanks, I would have farmed up Boo Han to get Big Bad Bosses, of course. But Boo Tanks doesn't get Big Bad Bosses until he transforms into Boo Han. And that's just not something we would see almost ever. So amazing damage right there. We do get a super attack. That's nothing. That's going to do nothing. I now, like, it's like looking at this. It would have been maybe better if I had super attacked Zamasu with Buhan to get rid of him. But it's like, dude, this Goku Black is the reason I've lost, like, a dozen runs. Like, I had to do... I, I have to super attack Goku. Okay, so he did not... Yeah. All right, so we won this because Goku Black did not super attack. Um, If he super attacked Butanks after Butanks supered, we would have survived, but... I don't know if we would have had enough health afterwards. And then, of course, Zamasu. I, nothing more frustrating than that right there. That's the most frustrating thing in the world. <laughs> Thank you, Zamasu. A sliver of health. So now then, this is terrifying because uh, the AGL Goku Black still does, like, 300k to Goku and Vegeta. Goku and Vegeta is one of the best defensive units in the game, honestly. Well, I, well they are. I, I think that's fair to say for how well they can tank in Super Battle Road. And this, Go this Goku Black still does 300k to them. Now, I don't think he would do 300k to them right now um, because of the fact that we did greatly lower his attack with Buhan. I mean, that's a massive debuff, right? Uh, I believe Goku Black might also be able to do damage to Goku and Vegeta as well with his normals. He won't be able to now because, of course, he had his attack greatly lowered, but you guys get the point. Uh, I should also mention that the fr I believe the friend is only one dupe as well. I think it's just 69%. Ningen can attest to this, but it's like you find the rainbow friend on a no item run and you go into it and then you just get instantly killed in turn one. Like they all just like it's, you have the shittiest rotation ever. You just get killed instantly. Then you jump in with like the 55% friend and that's when you get the god RNG to actually allow you to do a run. It's always so annoying. <laughs> oh, good. We got this 
like, you know, 69% Goku and Vegeta here. But, you know, when I did the five consecutive runs with Rainbow Friends where I died turn one, awesome, thanks. <laughs> That's just typically how it goes, right? So now, at this point, like, it's pretty much we, we have it in the bag. Um, because Boo Tanks was able to get a super attack before, uh, his defense is high enough that he could definitely tank a super attack from this Goku Black. Uh, Buhan is going to be able to heal up a lot with, with orbs. He's still going to greatly lower attack. So by this point, we have the run done. Uh, this one was super tough. I think it would have been possible even if Boo Tanks and Goku and Vegeta did not come out. But them being released made this way less tedious than it was going to be. Um, so at this point, as of recording this, I did, I did get the Goku family stage done as well. Um, so all that's left is Movie Heroes and Vegeta Family for the new 10 stages. Movie Heroes is going to be annoying, but it can be done. Uh, Vegeta Family, I don't know. I, I think it's possible, but it's going to be like a stun fest. It's going to be just annoying as hell. We'll see. Um, but there is Final Trump Card done. Thanks guys for watching. I'll catch y'all next time.